changed my title somewhat. Uh, it's now called uh, Understanding Conflict Behavior, Intergroup Violence as a Complex Social Phenomenon, because I couldn't get into the whole dead bodies in 16 years. <coughs> so I'm just going to focus on like the, the background to why I want to explore violence. And yeah, as Cornelius mentioned, I'm one of the PhD students in the graduate school, and I'm also employed by the Museum of Bohuslän in Western Sweden. And uh, I'm a bioarchaeologist. Uh, okay, so first slide. Uh, okay, uh, contract archaeology and society. Uh, to tie into what Cornelius was talking about, I just. I uh, use these questions that they wrote in the abstract uh, about um, social impact and the questions which knowledge about the past does society need, which needs of the knowledge about the past can archaeology meet, and what is the value of that knowledge, because they tie into my research. And uh, archaeological research is ideal to explore various aspects of the human condition, I think is a premise that most people can agree on. And uh, for me, I think it's like archaeology is what it fundamentally means to be human, what we're exploring. It's like, what is humanity over time and space? And um, doo -doo -doo. yeah, archaeological perspectives can allow a more reflective understanding of recurrent challenges that we have today and yesterday. And um, I focus on violence in my research, uh, lethal intergroup conflicts, to be more specific, which is one social challenge that is, of course, reoccurring throughout distant past and present. And uh, some research questions that I have is, how does violence work as a, so as a complex social phenomenon? And how is and has collective violence been organized in order to achieve consequences beyond the violence itself? I will come back to that. And like I said, I'm a bioarchaeologist, so I'm integrating social theories and also with the study of human remains. Uh, the state of violence research, briefly. Um, violence is constantly on the agenda within all social scientists, sciences, but uh, there is generally a lack of uh, broader interdisciplinary uh, theoretical frameworks uh, that we need to explore like cross-cultural and cross-temporal perspectives on violence and uh, most researchers on violence agree that uh, violence <coughs> is poorly understood uh, in terms of the cultural meanings that are associated with violence and uh, violence is always culturally encoded and therefore we need theories that uh, see a broader spectrum um, and in the bioarchaeological research on conflict and in conflict archaeology, uh, analysis of human remains where you can see traces of violence have mainly been descriptive and has not explained violence as a social phenomenon. Um, so what we have today is a research field of conflict archaeology that is very fast developing. And we also have um, a rudimentary understanding of violence as a cultural phenomenon. So why study this then? Um, because contemporary violence is perceived most times as a legitimized political, structural and social tool. Uh, that is to say that violence is sanctioned by society in order to keep the social organizations or break social organization. Uh, and therefore we cannot reduce past violent acts to deviant ones, uh, but need to try to explain the occurrences of violence. Um, and I guess like an example of that would be today, like if you see at like rape, for example, you can't just like go into the problem of one rape and try to explain that if you don't look at the social structure that like, why, why does it happen? What does it change in society? What culture? what cultural like background or like what why does our society experience these violent acts so it's more to try to see the social cultural uh, aspects of violence and what it leads to in extension and uh, collective lethal violence cannot be understood through a narrow al analysis like the example since it happens in relation to a complex social cultural arena uh, and therefore, we need to integrate theories on human behavior and social um, implications of lethal conflicts. And 
lethal violence affects the psyche and the future of the society where it takes place. So, like I mentioned earlier, violence can work both as a stabilizing and a destabilizing social tool. And it's often very political. And uh, it is essential to try to understand violence from an archaeological uh, and anthropological perspective in order to try to explain the use and condition of violence. And uh, from a bioarchaeological point of view, uh, I hope to, that we can provide perspectives that can, well, we are providing like uh, data for studying the material traces of interpersonal violence. Uh, but if we also integrate social theoretical frameworks to understand the use and effects of violence, we have a new set of data that we can analyze. And through doing that, we can generate a deeper understanding on the causes and consequences of lethal conflict throughout history. Um, and not just describe what has happened, but also try to see the social aspects of uh, violent events. And that includes the, um, under, uh, the perspectives of perpetrators, victims, uh, the social organization, the understanding and treatment of living and dead bodies, and the concept of death in the past. And to get back to what this, how this relates to um, archaeology and social impact, um, I took a citation from Ventura Perez, who is researching in violence, and he wrote recently that when uh, considering explanatory models for violence, there is a tendency for researchers, politi politicians, and the general public to think in terms of here and now, but in the 21st century it is becoming clear that violence research demands a broader context. And I think that here the archaeological research that we can provide can both uh, give the historical perspective and various, um, various aspects of uh, violence as a social tool. And that the value of the archaeological knowledge then can expand from just knowledge about the past and past occurrences of violence uh, and uh, to provide then uh, um, knowledge and like information and aspects of the human condition that is essential when discussing contemporary issues of the same sort. And I think that archaeology in several ways can benefit the understanding of social organization. So, oops, sorry, seven minutes. Huh. Okay, I'm done.